So by now, most of us know that a brand is the sum of all of its parts and is defined by the way that customers perceive the company. Currently, the way that most SMEs approach branding is as follows. They create a product or service, they find a way to position it in the market, they create a logo and or brand identity, and they start marketing. So we can have a look at this 3C model, which is uh, a pretty good model for creating a brand strategy around, which considers the company, the competition, and the customer. At least that's the idea. Uh, majority of businesses actually approach the branding process where they've taken position and finding the position uh, by looking at the competition. And of course, the competition and the customer, that we have the category, and between the company and the customer, there's supposed to be value. But that's actually the most forgotten branding aspects and something that I feel strongly about, uh, something that's missing in the, in the current uh, scenario of branding. I think that's come from uh, this whole idea that uh, branding was originally based around the mentality of build it and they will come. And if you have a look at this Seb Godin quote, he actually says that the build it and they will come only really works in the movies. It's more like build it, nurture it, engage them and they may come and stay. And that really shows you how uh, the way that the branding, the world of branding and customer interaction has changed dramatically. We could have a look at the extinction rate for companies in the last 50 years or so. And we can see that in the 1928, for example, we had the average rate for an existing of a company was over 100 years. And you can see that uh, that actually declining steadily. Today, we can expect the business to last for an average 15 years, and that's a pretty massive uh, fall. And that's because we now live in a consumer society. The way that we purchase and make purchases decisions as consumers and customers has changed dramatically. Brands have to meet our needs and expectations if they want to survive. So brand image and product are not, no longer sufficient uh, if you want to attract and retain customers. Uh, brands that fail to fulfill the human needs of the customers are struggling to stay relevant. So I've got the statistics here to show you that over 90% of consumers indicated that authenticity is a determining factor in helping them choose which brand they will buy from. And at the end of the day, what is brand authenticity? It actually means that the customers feel trust towards the brand because the brand will come through on their promises and that they will fulfill the needs and expectations. Now let's have a look at the flip side of that and have a look at it from the marketing and branding side. And only 49% of the marketing leaders across uh, different B2C and B2B brands actually believe that they are providing an experience that's aligned to those customers' needs and expectations. So you can tell that there's a huge disconnect in the, at the moment in terms of branding. As a business, you have to flip the conversation and make it about your customer uh, more so than your brand.